Awesome Mother Teresa quote. When we all get to heaven, we're going to owe a great debt of gratitude to the poor for having brought us so close to God. And I really believe in my heart that that's true. It's amazing that here in Austin and really throughout the United States, there are an extraordinary number of people who have no place to live, much less even know what they're going to be able to eat that day. They're living in places that you and I would consider genuinely not habitable by human beings. Alleyways, weekly rate motels, urban campsites. I really think it's my job to help uh, fulfill the needs of these brothers and sisters that we find on the streets. All right. Hey, Alan, how you doing? Daryl, what are you doing, man? Alright. Come here and give me some love, man. Hot hot dog, you bet. Do well. What's up, man? Hey bro. Yeah, absolutely, man. We go out with an abundance of tasting of food items in the truck and other things that human beings really need people that are serving and the people that are being served are on the same side of the serving counter of that truck. It allows for a human connection. That's enough to give you a taste. You want some? You ready? You're my friend now, aren't you? Who else wants hot chocolate? When I see people out on the street in need, or I witness injustice in our society, there's this innate sense within me to want to go and do something. And I've never met anyone who didn't have that innate sense. And there's no question in my mind that that is God communicating to us to go and do. Thirty-five years ago, I'm in the real estate business. And I spent 25 years really pursuing myself and pursuing money. At best, uh, I was agnostic. I know now, all along, uh, as I look back, that God was pursuing me. I begin to recognize that, and here I am serving others because of God's unrelenting pursuit of me. Food trucks out here. God created man in his image. In his divine image, God created man. When I look at another human being that looks absolutely distressing, instead of being disgusted by that, I'm now open to the beauty that that human being was created in the image of God. I'm looking at that divine creation. I'm looking at God himself. Without any question, there's, there's no doubt in my mind that there is a God. At some point in time, we have to transcend from what is not mysterious to those things that are a mystery. And just say, I, I believe. I believe. 